A digestive biscuit, sometimes described as a sweet meal biscuit, is a semi-sweet biscuit that originated in Scotland, and is popular worldwide. The digestive was first developed in 1839 by two Scottish doctors to aid digestion. The term, digestive, is derived from the belief that they had antacid properties due to the use of sodium bicarbonate when they were first developed. Historically, some producers used diastatic malt extract to digest. Some of the starch that existed in flour prior to baking, first manufactured in 1892, McVitie's Digestive is the best-selling biscuit in the UK. A prominent feature in British culture, the Digestive is ranked the fourth most popular biscuit for dunking into tea, with the chocolate Digestive coming in at number one. Topic history In 1839, digestives were first developed in the United Kingdom by two Scottish doctors to aid digestion. Digestives featured in advertisements for the Berkshire-based biscuit company Huntley and Palmer's in 1876, with a recipe being given in Cassell's New Universal Cookery Book of 1894. In 1851 an issue of the Lancet London's advertising section offered brown meal digestive biscuits. At the time, it was asserted grain millers knew only of bran and endosperm. After 10% of the whole grain's coarser outer bran coat was removed, and because the innermost 70% of pure endosperm was reserved for other uses, brown meal, representing only 20% of the whole grain, remained, consisting of about 15% fine bran and 85% white flour. By 1912, it was more widely known that brown meal included the germ, which lent a characteristic sweetness. In 1889, John Montgomery of Scotland filed a U.S. patent application, which was granted in 1890. This patent asserted a prior patent existed in England dated 1886. The U.S. patent, titled Making Malted Bread, included instructions for the manufacture of digestive biscuits. Montgomery claimed this sacrification process would make nourishing food for people of weak digestion, despite rumors that it is illegal for them to be sold under their usual name in the United States. They are, in fact, widely available in imported food sections of grocery stores and by mail order. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ingredients. The typical digestive biscuit contains coarse brown wheat flour which gives it its distinctive texture and flavor, sugar, malt extract, vegetable oil, wholemeal, raising agents usually sodium bicarbonate, tartaric acid and malic acid and salt. Dried whey, oatmeal, cultured skimmed milk and emulsifiers such as DATEM may also be added in some varieties. A digestive biscuit averages around 70 calories, although this sometimes varies according to the factors involved in its production. Consumption Digestive biscuits are frequently eaten with tea or coffee. Sometimes, the biscuit is dunked into the tea and eaten quickly due to the biscuit's tendency to disintegrate when wet. Digestive biscuits are one of the top ten biscuits in the United Kingdom for dunking in tea. The digestive biscuit is also used as a cracker with cheeses, and is often included in cracker selection packets. In the UK, McVitie's Digestive is the best-selling biscuit, with 80 million packs sold annually. Digestives are also popular in food preparation for making into bases for cheesecakes and similar desserts. Chocolate digestives Chocolate digestive biscuits are also available, coated on the underside with milk, dark or white chocolate. Originally produced by McVitie's in 1925 in the UK as the chocolate home wheat digestive, other varieties include the basic biscuit with chocolate shavings throughout chocolate chips. In the biscuit mix, or a layer of caramel, mint chocolate, orange flavored chocolate, or plain chocolate. American travel writer Bill Bryson described the chocolate digestive as a British masterpiece. The McVitie's chocolate digestive is the most popular biscuit in the UK to dunk into tea. In popular culture McVitie's digestive biscuits have become known among fans of the rock group The Beatles because they were the cause of an argument between George Harrison and John Lennon during a recording session for the group's 1969 album Abbey Road. 
The incident was recounted by recording engineer Jeff Emmerich in his book Here, There, and Everywhere, My Life recording the music of the Beatles. According to Emmerich, Lennon's wife Yoko Ono was in the recording studio and at one point helped herself to Harrison's box of McVitie's while the Beatles were in the control room listening to a playback of the song they'd just recorded. Harrison got angry at Ono, and his subsequent outburst caused Lennon to lose his temper in response. Chocolate digestives were the technical challenge to the bakers in the The Great British Bake Off Series 3 hashtag Episode 8, Biscuits. Chocolate digestives were also the technical challenge to the bakers in the Biscuits and Bars episode of Season 2 of The Great Canadian Baking Show. See also Graham flour Marie biscuit Rich tea